All right, so here's a fun problem we could try, which uh, isn't. Here's a fun problem we could try, which again uh, involves the remainder theorem. It's from my old math book, but uh, why not? It's for fun. Given that the expression 2x cubed plus mx squared plus nx plus c leaves the same remainder when divided by x minus 2 by x plus 1, prove that m plus n is equal to negative 6. Typically, this, these type of problems. Typically, these type of problems appear in, uh, you know, college entrance exam tests. So, yeah, let's head on to over to it. So, we have our expression 2x cubed plus mx squared plus nx plus c leaves a remainder. same remainder when divided by x minus 2 and x plus 1. Prove that m plus n is equal to negative 6. Now, to write this equation, basically, when it comes to the remainder theorem, is that the zero of any binomial expression and if we were to solve th this zero it would be x equals 2 the zero of any binomial expression substituted into this equation you know it's equal to the remainder of the function when this is divided into this you know that's basically the entire point of the remainder theorem if a polynomial p of x is called this p of x is divided by x minus c then the remainder is equal to substituting the zero of x minus c to the function itself. So in that case, let's solve for the zeros of each first. x minus 2 equals 0, x equals 2, x plus 1 equals 0, x equals negative 1. Now it's stated that they both have the same remainder. This is important. They both have the same remainder if we substituted each of these here. So if they both have the same remainder, they both have the same function value, they both equate to the same number. And if they both equate to the same number, we could equate the two equations to each other. Okay, so now, 2, 2 cubed plus m2 squared plus n2 plus C is equal to negative two, a uh, two negative one cubed plus m negative one squared plus n negative one plus c. Now, why are they both equal? Because as it said, if we substituted these two x's together, they should equal to the same function value or the same remainder. Now we basically just solve. So these two c's here, they cancel out. You know, minus c both sides. They both cancel out. 2 cubed, 8, 16. Plus 4m plus 2n is equal to negative 1 cubed. So that's negative 2 plus m minus n. So now we basically just isolate uh, m and n from, uh, you know, coefficients, multiples, uh, add-ins, whatever, or constants. So now, plus 2 both sides, cancel here, plus 2 here, so it would be 18 plus 4m plus 2n is equal to m minus n. Minus 4m minus 2n, cancel, minus 4m minus 2n would now be 18 is equal to negative 3m minus 3n. Now, we could factor uh, negative 3 from the expression, so it would now be negative 3m plus n, negative 3 here, divide, negative 3. So now, m plus n is equal to negative 6. 
and yeah we basically proved that m plus n is equal to negative 6 as said in the book as well so basically that's the whole concept of the remainder theorem basically if we have a binomial represented by x minus c and any polynomial expression p of x, p of x <laughs> um, basically the zero of the binomial expression x equals z x equals c if we substituted that into the function p of c it's so without p of c it's equal to the remainder of the function as if we divided this into this that's that's it thank you for watching